Hey YouTube, this is just going to be a quick video on my Swiss of America silver collection. Um, this is probably my favorite thing to collect um, of silver. I grab them anytime I see them. Um, I try to get them generally without paying too much of a premium because most of these pieces have huge premiums on them, but uh, most of these I've got for uh, pretty good buys. I think, um, you know, even if I averaged what I paid for all these, it's probably somewhere in the like, 20 $21 per ounce range, which for these I think is pretty good, but um, I've got some really good deals on some of them. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of walk you through what these are. If you haven't seen the Swiss of America stuff, it's really cool. I think you should check it out. And if you don't have any, you should look to add some, I think, to your stack. Um, the reason I like these little Swiss of America uh, rounds is they're kind of, they're really different. They're um, pretty small, but really thick, chunky little silver rounds. Um, this one here is a standard size for a one ounce round. And you can see this one's a lot smaller in its diameter, but it's a lot thicker. Um, they're just kind of fun to hold. I think they look cool. They're different. They fit really well. I keep them stored. And uh, these tubes are actually for quarters, and they fit perfectly. They're the same diameter as a quarter. Or very, very close anyway. They fit perfectly in the tubes. Um, I think you can fit 10 in a tube. So I've got 20 of these small chunky ones here. I've got a couple more that aren't in here that are in with my kids' stuff, but um, there's two different designs of these Swiss America ones on the front. The backs all look the same, but this one has says Swiss of America and has the, the scene that you see there. And then there's the other one that says Golden West Teton on it. The backs are the same. Again, various levels of condition here. This top row of them are all ones that are not in as good a condition. That one there's pretty roached. Um, some kind of some cool toning, but most of these ones are been handled a lot. Um, the bottom row of them are ones that I actually got from my local coin shop. Uh, he got them in, and um, they were basically ones that were uncirculated, and he uh, very good condition. He saved some back for me and sold them to me for a real good price because uh, he knew me and I was a customer who knew and knew I was looking for these so he saved some back for me and gave me a real good buy on them. So I got about several of these that are just in beautiful shape. I've got 20 of those there um, and then I've got uh, four of these one ounce rounds. I also got these from my local coin shop. He got some of these in and was nice enough to sell me a few. I think he charged me twenty dollars a piece for these. And again, same design as the smaller ones. Smaller diameter anyway. Both one ounce, but as far as I know, I've not seen one of the one ounce ones in the Teton design. If anybody knows if those are out there, I'd love to know. I've never seen one for the one ounce rounds in the Teton. I've got four of those one ounce rounds, and then these last two are probably my favorites. Um, this one here was one of the first pieces of Swiss of America I ever bought. Um, it's a two and a half ounce. It's kind of an odd weight. 1974. The Draper Mint is the mint that put these out. A lot of the older pieces say Draper Mint on them. So if you're looking at some and it says Draper Mint, it's an older piece. The newer ones did not say Draper on them. You can tell just from the design there, it's a little bit older design compared to the other ones. But so this one is this one is the same diameter as a one ounce round, but it's just you know two and a half times as thick. Kind of a cool one. I've, I've seen two different styles of the two and a half ounce. I only have one, but pretty cool piece. And then this one is the five ounce. So it's the same diameter here as the one ounce, but it's just five times as thick. It's got kind of a cool design on the back. It says SOA for Swiss of America. It's got the Patriot on there with the eagle, the flag, 
Just a real cool, chunky, real thick, kind of a fun one to hold. I've heard these before called pucks because it resembles a hockey puck. And I've also heard that there are 10 ounce versions of this that are just twice as thick. Um, I've never seen one. I'd love to find one. Definitely on my list of things I'd like to pick up. But Anyway, this is just kind of the start of my collection. Uh, I'm still looking for more. I know there are some cool old Draper Mint um, bars. 5 and 10 ounce bars and that say Draper Mint and the SOA or Swiss of America on them. So looking for, I'd love to add some bars to my Swiss of America collection, but I just love these chunky little rounds. I think they're a lot of fun to collect and if you don't have it in your stack, I suggest checking them out and picking some up. Um, there are kind of a premium, especially if you're going to look on eBay or whatever, but if you just keep your eyes peeled at coin shops and things, I think you can find them sometimes for pretty good deals. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.